2024 Maserati Gran Turismo First Look Review, Perfecting the Grand Tour. In recent months, Maserati revealed a new small SUV in the form of the Grey Kale and, at the other end of the price spectrum, the beautiful MC20 Cielo. If neither of these vehicles pander to your tastes, the all-new Maserati Gran Turismo might just do the trick. This is a slinky Grand Tourer coupe with curves in all the right places and a tuneful gas engine under the long hood. It will even spawn an all-electric version using the Falgor name. With no more Mercedes-Benz S-Class coupe to worry about, the new Gran Turismo will provide a unique alternative to diversely talented coupes like the BMW 8 Series and Porsche 911, but with that Italian style that tends to tug harder at the heartstrings. Can the new Gran Turismo appeal to the head too, though? Let's find out. When is the 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo coming out? The expected release date for the Maserati Gran Turismo is sometime in the second quarter of next year, while the all-electric Falgor derivative which we review separately will come after the gas models. What's the price of the 2024 Gran Turismo? The manufacturer has yet to specify the price of the 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo. Don't expect it to be affordable, however. The outgoing Gran Turismo carried a starting MSRP of over $130,000 in the USA, so the new one will very likely cost more than that. Rivals will include the BMW 8 Series which costs $102,500 in M850i xDrive form. Although an excellent Grand Tourer, the BMW doesn't look or feel as special as its price tag suggests. The Porsche 911 will always be a threat with its blend of peerless dynamics and iconic styling, it starts at $123,000 in Carrera S guys, but even a base Carrera at $106,100 is a brilliant car. And, although it is not a fixed-roof coupe, the new Mercedes SL Roadster that begins at $137,400 is well worth a look. New Maserati Gran Turismo Exterior the previous Gran Turismo was a stunning vehicle which may explain why the Italian mark has opted for an evolutionary approach to the new one's styling. We see no issue with this when the end result is such a fabulously pretty car. The exterior of the Maserati Gran Turismo is beautifully proportioned, with the manufacturer describing it as being without ostentation that's an accurate description. In front, there is the classic Mazer grille that hasn't succumbed to the oversizing trend, and it houses the 3D Triton logo. The vertical headlights have been successfully restyled, and these help to give the car a sporty yet elegant appearance. Staggered wheels measure 20 inches in front and 21 inches at the back, and there are four designs to choose from. Similarly, the brake calipers can be finished in six colors that include Rosso, Red, and Nero, Black. At the back are quad exit tailpipes and restyled taillight clusters, but again, nothing is overdone, and that's a compliment. The colors for the Maserati Gran Turismo will stretch to six shades at launch. Among them are Grigio Maratia, pictured here, Bianco, Nero Ribel, and Blue Emozione, however, customers can access a range of special shades from the Maserati Furisery customization program if they wish. Maserati Gran Turismo Dimensions Although slightly longer than the previous model, the dimensions of the new Maserati Gran Turismo Coupe are similar to its predecessor. The base Medina measures 195.2 in length, about 4 inches longer than the 8 series. Including the mirrors, the Mazer has a width of 83.2 inches, and its height works out to 53.3 inches. The wheelbase is 115.3 inches. Although Maseratis have generally rewarded the more spirited driver, the new Gran Turismo does have a homologated weight of 3,957 pounds. That's heavier than a base 8 series and significantly heavier than the 911. Maserati Gran Turismo Engine and Performance After much speculation about what engine the Maserati Gran Turismo may use, we now know that it's the 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged V6 Neytuno engine, confirming that the previous V8 has been discontinued. Maserati led us to believe that this special Neytuno engine would only be used in its MC20 supercar, but that's clearly not the case. 
Of course, it is down-tuned in its application in the Gran Turismo Medina where it has specs of 489 horsepower and 443 lbft of torque. Here, it uses a wet sump rather than a dry one and comes with cylinder deactivation technology. Although it doesn't set any new speed records, the Gran Turismo is still usefully quick with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 3.9 seconds. It'll go from 0 to 124 miles per hour in 13 seconds, and the top speed is over 187 miles per hour. For the truly power-hungry enthusiasts, both the Gran Turismo Trofeo, 550 horsepower, and all-electric Gran Turismo Falgor, 751 horsepower combined, are quicker. We review these models separately. An 8-speed automatic transmission from ZF and all-wheel drive system are standard. That's another change from the previous model which directed power to the rear wheels only. Maserati says that positioning the front differential in line with the engine has notable benefits for the car's dynamics and center of gravity. For driving modes, Comfort, GT, Sport, and Corset can tailor the driving experience for the conditions or the driver's tastes. In Corsa mode, it's possible to deactivate the electronic stability control system which should make the car quite a handful, but in a different way to its RWD predecessor. Gas Mileage We don't know what gas mileage the 2024 Gran Turismo is capable of, but with a smaller capacity engine and two fewer cylinders, it should be more efficient than its predecessors 13-20-16 MPG City-Highway combined. Even the new MC20 with the Neytuno V6, a true supercar, is more efficient at 15-25-18 mpg. However, the MC20 is much lighter than the Gran Turismo, so in the end, we estimate gas mileage to be around 17 miles per gallon combined. With an 18.5 gallon gas tank and assuming that 17 miles per gallon is accurate, the new Gran Turismo will have a range of about 314 miles. Maserati Gran Turismo Interior and Cargo Like every Maserati, the new GT will be expected to blend sexy design with top-notch craftsmanship and the latest driver assist technologies. The automaker has yet to share images of the cabin, though. We do know that there will be a digital cockpit, replacing the analog gauges of the previous model. There is no traditional gear lever inside which has freed up storage space, and Maserati has touted a completely button-free central tunnel with digital commands. We hope that this more modern Maserati Gran Turismo interior is easy to use. The seats in the Maserati Gran Turismo have built-in headrests, and the second row is said to be comfortable, too. Leather upholstery and a sporty neurotrend steering wheel are standard, but a heated steering wheel rim will cost extra on the Medina. Brushed dark aluminum paddles, chrome-plated details, and accents in dark ash burl all sound appealing. Leather colors come in black, tan, or grayish, and it has tone-on-tone -tone stitching. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.